Hello everyone, welcome to Canadian Coins. In this video, you'll be seeing the latest updates released now on TR to PR pathway. Stay tuned. Before I give you the latest updates, let me give, give a brief intro on the program. The temporary resident to permanent resident pathway, TR to PR pathway released by Canadian Immigration to give PR for healthcare workers, essential workers, international graduates. So if you're an English speaking candidate, there's a cap of 90,000 applications on this program. But if you're a French speaker, there is no cap. And we all are looking forward to the date May 6, 2021, which is going till November 5th. What are the basic documents required for this application? You have to have a valid work permit if you're applying with an essential worker or the healthcare worker you have to have the job reference letter and this is not mandatory with the international graduate applicants employment letter so i prefer keeping letters pay stubs offer what all documents you have to prove for all the categories your educational transcripts your IL score, you just need to have a screenshot of the test, a screenshot from the test taker's portal. You don't need to have the val, uh, actual IL card. Your passport, front, back page, and a valid visa counterfoil, a digital photo. Other documents are PCC and medical. If you already have, you can keep it ready to upload it, or else you can give a letter of explanation giving uh, saying that you will be getting those letters soon and letter of explanation for whatever additional information you want the officer to be known your marriage certificates if you are applying for a spouse your birth certificate for dependent children let's see what are the latest updates as you see there will be a counter which counts the application as, as long as there are clicks it keeps on adding and it stops once it receives all the specific number of on your stream like say for 40 40,000 you are if you are applying for international graduate stream 40,000 it stops and same like others so the counter runs as the application is submitted once the last 40,000 application is submitted, you won't be able to uh, submit the next application. Application guide will be published at 12 p.m. May 5th. That's tomorrow. So all the guide, all the details on how the, to submit the application, what are the documents needed will be there. If you have already paid the fees, there is no problem. According to the recent update, you can upload the receipt with your application. No signature signatures are needed. You just maybe need to validate some forms. No need of a police clearance certificate or medical upfront, but upload letters of explanation in those slots. Unless you upload something in on those slots, the application won't be able to be you won't be able to submit the application. The new portal opens on May 6th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. How is the process? You create an account with your email ID and verify it. Answer the questions which will lead to your stream. Complete forms and upload it. Make online payment or upload fee receipt. Here are a few tips for you. Practice filling out the forms such as IMM008, IMM5562, IMM5669 and 5406 they have released a new form imm 0130 and few of the forms will be dedicated for this process so just check if if you're uh, using the right forms make sure you merge your document files example transcripts or employment details in one single folder or one single pdf because you, you will be able to upload only a single folder on a single slot. You won't be able to 
up, uh, add or upload multiple documents on a single spot. That's all the updates are. Thank you for watching.